the most broken people. Can be great leaders. His people did not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Killing him will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. What you whisper, they have lost the protector. Now is our time to strike. Show them. No woman no cry. Audiences have embraced. Wakanda and Black Panther and Chatwick. He knew exactly what this story, what these images meant to the world. We all suffered an incredible loss when we lost Chadwick. Chad was very much our artistic partner. I would spend time with him, just he and I, talking about like, where we would want to see the story go, how much he admired the other characters and the actors that portrayed them. In the telling of this story, we were all able to honor him together. It was really moving to come back to Wakanda and for us to be able to do it with a sense of celebration. There's so much that's happening in this movie. It's amazing. So many new characters to explore. Just seeing the world of Wakanda again, and then now we're going to this whole new world underwater. My enemies call me Namor. Introducing Namor, who's a character we were really excited to portray in the film, arguably one of the oldest comic book characters that there is. The opportunity to play a character like this, it's a dream. He's the king of an underwater civilization called Talukan. He is regarded as a living god. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. The level of care creating this story it is astounding. And so it just really felt like for all of us to give it everything we have and more. I'm just so grateful and blessed to be a part of this. The actors were filled with emotion and passion. I am queen of the most powerful nation, and my entire family is gone. Altogether, we ended up using those feelings create something really special. The action and adventure with the emotional stakes so high, things are happening up, down, and everywhere. I'm so excited about the world being able to tap into Wakanda again. How each character takes on new challenges. And I'm excited about us honoring Chad. Yeah, he would want us to just inspire the world. He's coming for the surface world. That can't be good.
Tickets now. In ten days, experience the movie event you will remember forever. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ready PG-13, November 11th. Get tickets now. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. You can come and find out. Black Panther Wakanda Forever, ready PG-13. Introducing Namor was really an opportunity to introduce another sovereign ruler of a group of people. He shows up representing Talo Khan. He's coming for the surface world. In Marvel Publishing, Namor was one of the first superheroes, frankly. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Namor loves his people, and he's gonna protect them because to be a ruler, you have to serve the people. Talocan has a deep meaning for me. It's part of my personal heritage as a Mexican, as an inhabitant of uh, Mesoamerica. Finally, I could find a more powerful representation of my culture with dignity and respect. I cannot wait for everyone to see Talocan. I'm excited about how we're gonna see the world come alive. Both nations want the same thing, which is to preserve and to protect their people, but they're willing to go about it different ways. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. 
Namor is very much concerned with what he needs and what he wants. This delicate dance between the two of them. I get chills just thinking about it. Who are you? My enemies call me Namor.